Tuesdays, Gopher football fans are sharing praise and excitement about this year's team. Most of the time, they just want to chat anonymously, but we track down some of the bloggers to find out who these people really are. I'm a complete homer when it comes to the Gophers, um, so you would have to take what I say with a grain of salt. Jeremy Miller runs gopherfootball.blogspot.com. It's a brand new blog, but Jeremy says his new site is for the new era of gopher football. And it really, I think, is a rabid fan base. It's not as big as it's going to be in a couple years, but I think it's really rabid. And people are really searching on the internet for more information. And that's why it makes it fun to go out there and actually share my opinion and some things that I've seen and what I think about it. Let's go, go! Let's go, guys! Let's go! Jeremy hopes some of the people on his blog will be potential recruits who want to find out more about the Gophers and where the team is headed under Coach Brewster. You know, I hope if there's some recruits out there that are uh, doing some research, I mean, I can only hope that they would come to a blog like mine. I try to, you know, really focus on some of the positive things. Obviously, as fans, we all are going to talk about the games and what went wrong and what we can, the team can do better. But again, there's so many exciting things going on that I really hope that my excitement for the program and what Coach Brewster is doing really comes out in the blog. Thank you. Then there's Paul the Bettings. Paul is a 26 season ticket holder who started his blog, gopherfootballblog.com, for a very specific reason. Therapy. Uh, genuinely, it was therapy. Uh, you've, been, uh, you've been going to games since 1982. I've uh, missed 11 games in this time. Paul says his blog is a way for him and other rabid fans to lament gopher losses and debate the team's future. Well, they're looking for more information that you can get, you know, in 700 words in, in an article. And for me, time and space isn't an issue. And so I can post for 45 minutes and just write if I want. And people write back. Paul had to learn to have a very thick skin. Sometimes it's educating, sometimes it's debating. Sometimes it's just telling people that they're a fool. Sometimes it's being told you're a fool. Many fans admit they've made comments on blogs, but do so anonymously. It's a chance to speak their minds without fear of being judged. But there are others who just like to eavesdrop on what other Gopher fans are saying. You know, I, I'm not big into comments. I'm, I'm more of a, uh, I guess, lurker. You know, uh, checking out what people write and uh, seeing what they say, it's, uh, it's very entertaining. Gopher fans tell it like it is. Obviously, we're not real excited about the start we've had on the field this year, but there's so many great things going on with this program. Now it's time to get under.